last night on Celebrity Big Brother. John asked Tiffany to leave. For good. Tiffany pops off. Angie reveals that David Bowie has died, but misinterpreted, missaid it towards Tiffany. Megan and Scotty T get closer together. And Jonathan exits. Okay, let's get started with Live from the House that was on the night before. There was a Gemma and Tiffany's conversation that was also broadcasted onto the uh, highlights, so I'll talk about that during the highlights. Housemates are talking about Jonathan leaving the house. Angie is trying to keep her head together after finding her ex-husband has died. John wants nominations to be over, and then the house should be to sleep because he... They don't want to wait through it for the shocking tasks and stuff. They just want to do nominations now, apparently. Jamma is upset first because she can't dry her weave because all the blow dryers are all being used in the morning, and then once it's her time to blow dry her hair, the Big Brother shuts off the electricity for that. Christina can't stand Tiffany at this point. She says in the highlights that she does not want Tiffany to be around her. She does not want to be around Tiffany. She wants Tiffany out of the house. She doesn't feel safe around Tiffany. You know, that stuff. Megan's guy, he do get closer that night. That's also, I talk about that in the highlights too. There are some more problems with Stephanie and Jeremy. Stephanie wants to be friends with Jeremy, but Jeremy thinks there's something more with Stephanie. I was asking, where's David? Where's David? David was, like, not in the house that day. He's not He's not even participating in the task tomorrow, either. That day was eventful. Here's the events of the day. Angie was notified off-camera about her ex-husband's death, and off-camera she said that she'll stay in the house. And we cut to Angie crying in the diary room. Angie does not want to talk to the press. That's why she... Uh, is staying in the house for now. Big Brother lets Jonathan, John and David into the diary room to comfort her before she enters back in the house. Angie said that the stardust is gone. John and David do not want Angie to make any uh, brash decisions on who to talk about, who to talk to about, his, about her ex-husband's death. By 1 p.m., David is sick. Big Brother advises him to rest. And Jonathan is in the shower. The buffers are not around. Because, and this is what happens when your buffers are not around. <laughs> Tiffany is worried about Angie. Angie tells Tiffany not to tell anybody, but she said, I quote from Angie, Angie tells Tiffany David's dead. Tiffany takes it as David Guest is dead. She kind of overreacts, and then she thought it was a joke. And then Tiffany, like, starts crying and bawling and then runs to the smoking area in the garden saying, David's dead, David's dead. And the housemates run towards David Guest's bed and because they thought it was David Guest. They all thought it was David Guest. But then Aunt Tiffany is really pissed off what because she, because she thought David Guest was a lot dead, but from what she heard from Angie... But David Guest is alive. It was David Bowie. It becomes a mess. Daniela hears, Tiff, hears Angie say, It was my ex-husband, David Bowie! And then Daniela corrects Tiffany. Angie runs back to the diary room and discusses what happens, and it was a clusterfuck. And then John comes out of the shower, and then he's, he's, he wants the housemates to understand, especially Tiffany, what, ha what the news was. Tiffany believes that there was she there was no mistake on her half. She doesn't apologize to Angie until later that day. Angie goes back into the house. Tiffany starts back at Angie, and then Tiffany runs to the garden. Goes smokes in the garden. Not runs. How does the house move forward from this? John wants Tiffany to go. 
he actually does ask Tiffany to leave the house and with Jonathan and Gemma in the bathroom. So it felt she, she felt ganged up and stuff like that. Christina does not not want to be in the same room or place with Tiffany. Like, she feels very uncomfortable around Tiffany now. Tiffany thinks that the house is ganging up on her, especially when, when Jonathan, Gemma, and John were in the bathroom while Tiffany was in the toilet. And John was like, we're asking you to leave for good. Housemates start feeling threatening because of Tiffany. Tiffany's not apologizing to housemates right now. And Gemma said the best quote ever of the night, and that is, I want my shoes back. She wanted her shoes back. Because, you know. Tiffany is not leaving the house, and Big Brother tells Tiffany to go in the diary room. Housemates are not, are now not happy that Tiffany got immunity. Jonathan, Jonathan is like, I've had it. I have nothing else to say. There's nothing fun anymore. She invites... He invites Gemma to go with her, but Gemma is like, I know it's your time to go. I know it's your time to go. So Jonathan's leaving. Jonathan... Before Jonathan... Well, Jonathan says his goodbyes, Gemma is in tears. After Jonathan leaves, Gemma talks to, talks to Big Brother in the diary room. She says that something has died inside of her, and... She thinks it's time for her to get out of her comfort zone and talk to other housemates that she hasn't really talked to you before at all. Angie is grieving in the snug while Christopher suggested Tiffany that they should have a house meeting at slash dinner to sort things out. But when Christopher suggests this to the housemates... Tiffany was okay with it, but I mean, she was. It was not her. It was not her suggestion at all. But the housemates thought it was Chris. Christopher was doing Tiffany's work, but it wasn't really. But the housemates were not wanting it, and according to John, Tiffany doesn't clean up after herself and shit like that. When really, it's actually Nancy. I'll get to that in bots because that's actually what Jonathan says about Nancy. But yeah. John, John is, John then goes to Tiffany and asks, like, was this your idea? And she, she was like, no, it was Chris's idea to, for us, for us to clear the air. But the housemates were not having it. And John literally tells Tiffany that nobody wants to clear the air with her right now at all. David and Jeremy finally have their date night and Jeremy is dressed up as Liza Mandeli. This was funny because uh, there was some cheese that fell onto, there was some cream that fell onto David Guest's pants, and David Guest was like, you ruined my pants. Scotty T and Megan are getting closer, eating those love heart candies that you got on Valentine's Day. David gives Tiffany the suggestion to apologize to Angie. Tiffany finally apologizes to Angie. Angie apologizes to Tiffany. Angie apologizes to Tiffany for not clarifying what happened. Angie brushed off the sorry for your loss thing. She was like, not to worry about it. I mean, I don't know if Angie was actually slagging off her ex-husband again or if she was just like, don't worry about it. Like, this day has been way too cray anyways. After that, Gemma and Tiffany... This was also shown on the live feed. Gemma and Tiffany talk. Gemma suggests for Tiffany to behave and to help out around the house. Like, do you want some tea? Help around. Do you ask, ask if they need any help. Shit like that around the house. When when all of her offers were shot down, Tiffany felt like no one of the housemates wanted her in the house again. The day ends with Scotty T and Megan making out in the bedroom before Megan dashes off to sleep. And they were like blowing kisses and, to each other and everything. Now, let's get to a bit on the side. Okay, I wrote down a couple of questions. First one was, was it right for John to ask Tiffany to leave the house for good? Because it's only the second week. It's only the start of week two, first of all. Second of all, somebody, somebody's ex-husband died. And it was just a whole big misconception. Stuff like that. 
And why were the buffers not around Angie when Angie was telling Tiffany what happened? What what had happened? And that that was terrible. That was just terrible. That was just a terrible thing that happened today. Jonathan's interview with Rylan, he thought, Jonathan seriously thought he would be evicted on Friday. He's very glad that there weren't any trashy housemaids like last series. <laughs> Back to our team mom. Ben Jameson. <laughs> Name a few. When, before Jonathan met Gemma, Gemma he, he saw Gemma leave the, he saw a video of Gemma leaving the jungle, crying and shit, and Jonathan's like, yes, She's going to be my friend when we are in this house together. Outside the house, he would see himself hanging out with Nancy, but not inside the house because, Nancy, according to Jonathan, Nancy doesn't do shit. She she took seven hours to do her makeup. Hell, even during, like, the first eviction, the first eviction, uh, Nancy was still doing her makeup, and Big Brother's, like, housemates gather at the couches. And they were like, and Big Brother is not going to wait on her time. They're going to wait on the live time. Big Brother has its own time, and you have to follow its time and not your own damn time. And Nancy only follows her own time. Kim Kardashian tweeted about Jonathan in the house, being in the house, and how she missed him and shit like that. Jonathan does not really want to see Angie to win. Instead... Jonathan wants to see Tiffany win, but he would only want to hang out with Tiffany at least only really once because of how crazy Tiffany can get. Some exclusives. Uh, the puppet mask, the puppet task Shot starts. Tiffany and John get to clear the air. Jeremy gives Tiffany a massage. Housemates got to read negative tweets about themselves during their time in the house so far. And then Jonathan has been waiting for a while for, like, Sky T and Megan's romance to hit it off and, like, go deeper. That's what he said in the panel. Nominations happened, and that was the other exclusive. We see John's face-to-face -face nomination. He nominates Angie because he thinks the house is not the best situation for Angie. He also nominates Darren because... John thinks that Darren has been withdrawn from him and probably with probably and reverted back to like smoking and stuff like that. Up for eviction on Friday are Nancy, Angie, Gemma, Stephanie, and Jeremy. Um, I think people are gonna save Angie from eviction just because she's grieving. And according to Jonathan, Nancy was nominated because she really doesn't do anything on her in the house. She doesn't even really help out. She also is only on her own time and stuff like that. And usually she really only follows her own rules and stuff like that. I think Nancy's probably going to be next to go. Just from what we've seen so far and how she's been behaving and stuff like that. Angie, I think, might be safe, but I don't know. It'd be nice if it's a double eviction to, on Friday, but who knows? So, evictions Friday. Nominations are nominations have been revealed. Shopping task. The highlights for that are st start tomorrow. So, oh, and then Megan has a breakdown over potatoes in a couple of days. This will probably be in the highlights in a couple a couple days later. So. I can't wait for Megan's tantrum over fucking potatoes and over fucking food. Because she doesn't get to eat. She hasn't eaten anything that day. She during the challenge and stuff like that. So, I'll see ya.